Hi, my name is Enoch Hernandez and I'm an application engineer here at Hawker Systems. Today we're going to talk about how we can incorporate sensors into our model. Now here I've designed a mailbox that's going to go outside my house and I'm going to send this model out to my colleagues so maybe they want to make some changes but just to let them know that there's certain dimensions I don't want them to go over parameters I'm going to use sensors for the volume, for the mass, for the surface area, even for certain dimensions. Now if I want to use my sensors, I have to have my sensors folder present here in the Feature Manager Design Tree. Just in case yours isn't present, you can always click here on Options. Make sure you're inside the System Options tab. Click on Feature Manager. And right here where it's in Sensors, make sure yours is under Show. Mine is currently Show. You can click, I could hide it. I could leave it automatic. For now, I'll just leave it under Show, just like I had before. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the sensors so I can add a sensor. And like I mentioned, there's different sensor types, right? We have mass properties, dimension, for measurement, for cost data, even simulation data. For the purpose of this vlog, we will only be mentioning dimension and measurement. So I'll start off with, the, with mass properties. And again, I can add the mass, the volume, the surface area. The current mass that I have is actually based on what this whole part is but just so I can click on the two bodies that I used to design this I'll set an alert we don't want this to be over 17 pounds so that'll be my alert there the sensor will go off now if I open up the sensors folder there's the first sensor to activate it showing me what the current mass is and that there's a mass sensor then I'll add another sensor here that sensor will be for volume and I want it to be the volume of the part down here, which is where the actual envelopes will be going to, that enclosure there. And I want this to be when it's between, the sensor will go off when it's between 0.03 feet cubed or 0.05. Then I'm going to add another sensor, and this will be my final sensor, and this is going to be the surface area. So I want the entire surface area there. And I want the sensor to go off when it's not between 544 and 550. So now I have all my sensors ready. If I want to make any changes right, I click on this face using my instant 2D that's currently active, I can left click and drag this dimension and use that ruler. And as soon as I moved it, and I made the 17 inches, notice how all the sensors went off. I went over the mass, the volume, and the surface area. So whoever would be designing this would be like, uh oh, I can't have it at 17. I have to go back to the way it was because that's what I've told the designers, right? My colleagues who are gonna work on this part. Now another sensor that I can add is going to be a sensor type for dimension. Now this alert, I'm going to grab that cut there, the height is at 2. So I'll change that. If it's greater than 2, this sensor is going to go off. I don't want it to be more than that. Let's say I'm that colleague, right? And I'm like, well, let's see how it looks, the cut, if I make this 3 inches. Right away, the sensor goes off, letting that person know, hey, this is not acceptable. You have to go back to 2. So here we're able to see how we can actually incorporate using sensors in case we send this out. And people are working on our models that they can have warnings and notice they within certain parameters. Now if you have any other tips and tricks that you'd like to share with us, go ahead and let us know in the comment section. Give us a like and subscribe and thank you again.